I was lucky enough um, 20 months ago to get a phone call from the Hinckley Group. I uh, asked if I'd like to meet and talk po about possibilities of where Hinckley could go if they wanted to introduce a sailboat. And I had some ideas about what, what that could be. And one of their concerns was how do you transition a company that's known for quality but has been out of sailboats for a number of years, and how do you fast forward that and still have connection to the past? Hi, I'm Bill Tripp. I'm a naval architect in Norwalk, Connecticut. Um, I grew up uh, sailing on Long Island Sound, uh, sailing really between uh, New York and Newport primarily. And uh, when I was a five-year-old kid, I used to go sail Bermuda 40s on the weekend. Um, so the idea that struck me was um, other companies have done it. Uh, most, most famously, I think, uh, is Aston Martin. And if you see the two photos here, the top one is a 1958 DB4, sort of a James Bond car. And the bottom one uh, is a modern Aston Martin. And if you look between the two, you'll see a lot of parallels. One is a classic car and one is a fully modern car, but there's still some similarity of lines there. And yet, they went fully modern on it. Similarly, I thought the Bermuda 40, while being the classic boat of 1958, um, is not really a boat that represents the f could represent the future of a company. The boat um, represents what, where Hinkley is now because it's in fact a carbon fiber boat. Um, it is built out of the latest in technologies. Um, it is something that will appreciate high quality, will be a boat that can be sailed anywhere, and will have a few distinguishing features that represent both what Hinkley does and where we feel uh, boat design should go. In terms of the use of the boat, we think it's also very similar to how the Bermuda 40s were used originally, which is a boat that is fundamentally a cruising boat, not a racing boat, but at the same time is a boat that in its day will represent the best of what you can do, so that looking 30 years forward it will be a classic. This is a boat that we think will continue to be able to perform offshore uh, under IRC and the ORR rules in the cruiser racer division and be able to one go very fast, two, win on handicap, and three, give the, the owner a feeling of something that he's bought that has long-lasting value.